Hello YouTube, A7X Rob Raccoon A7X here with a booster box opening for you guys and I know I owe an apology for a lack of video uploads and whatnot, but I'll get to that in a different video. I'm actually in a new house right now. We moved a couple weeks ago and I don't think I brought my camcorder and tripod, so right now I'm gonna have to open this booster box one handed, which I really do not want to do. But I have two of these bad boys. Oh, this is a new training card game that came out. It took a while for the first set to actually release. I actually got these boxes off the game capital doc the game capital dot com for twenty nine ninety nine each, which isn't bad which is not bad. I can't believe how small these boxes are. But you get five cards per pack, twelve packs per box, and oh I didn't know that. Cool, you get two box toppers. I know, this game is really simple, has an interesting concept, and I got it so, oh, for my cousins and I. So without further ado, since I'm kind of limited on time on my phone, let's get this open. Sorry, I'm going to have to put the uh, phone down. Oh, I feel bad, I'm going to have to do this. I promise the second box opening, I probably will just use the tripod or find a way to rest my phone on something. So, let's open this up and see what we get. God, I'm even having problems with this, too. Um, how... Oh. This isn't rocket science. There we go, okay. Ooh. Beautiful box toppers. Nice. Trying to get this. Okay. So here are our wonderful box toppers, which I didn't even know we get. So we have Ethel the Everlasting Empress. Creature with an ability. Miracle here, Miracle Heal. When this creature is summoned, your life points become the same as your opponent's life points. That's interesting. And then we got another creature, another creature, Crystal Command Andromeda. Not gonna read off this ability, but there it is. I know you get one foil card per pack. And geez, that's a lot of pack really? That's weird. Anyway. So here's the first pack. I guess I can rest no. Come on. Sorry guys. It's gonna have to be like this. I think the foil is in the back, so I'm just going to move it to the back and we go like this. Matter of fact, let me just pre-open all these, that way you guys do not have to struggle with... <laughs> Alright, you know what, I'm going to pause the video, be right back, get all these pre-opened, and then we'll go. Alright, sorry about that guys, like I said, it's just the easiest way for me to do this right now, but I'll give you a look at the pack art. The back of it really reminds me of a Yu-Gi-Oh pack, but... Yeah, so let's just get started here with pack number one. We have Wishmaker Willow. Star Spear Oak. Nidlap Frozen Spear. Molten Crag, Slith or Slith, and our foil is cool, um, I think three is rare or something if I remember, and Bria Bringer of Infernos, that's pretty cool, love the artwork in this game, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the artwork in this game, I know there's like one really Rare car, that's one in a case. Hopefully we pull it. If we don't, no big deal. Dimensional Dust. Thunder Coil Dragon. Guardian Angel Galaxia. Nebula Mech Starvoid. And... Dimensional Desperado, another angel. Cool. Another different types of cards. There's like angels or dragons. There's a Shatter Folk, I think they're called. 
Star struggle, each player loses one life point. <clears throat> Must see, uh, Vine Branch Seraph. Dragon Knight Partisan, and I think every card can be a foil. Grand Seal Emissary of Stars. And a lot of the star formation. This card's like so awesome, I must say. So far, every single one has been an angel, which is interesting. Beacon of Worlds. Prince of, Princess of Bleeds. Dawn Dust Paladin. Galaxy Gazer. And, oh, cool, a foil energy. <laughs> That's really nice. Yeah, you ha I know you have a deck for your creatures and then an energy deck. I didn't know you could get energies as foils, though. That's awesome. When am I pulling a bunch of those? Isles of the Morning Star. Lustaria Constellar Ch Constellation Chaser. Bellflower Dragon. Euphoria's Reach. And a Symmetry. Apparition Grove. Cool. Pay one energy, switch a creature on your field with a creature in your hand. This doesn't count as a summon. That's actually not that bad. Moving on. Interstellar Tides. Star Smoke Dragon. Cre uh, <laughs> Portal Back Dragon. Yeah, this is what I want to use. The, the uh, Shark Folk. Crystal Drift Slith or Slith. And Crystal Bell. Each player draws one card from their main deck for each Shard Folk in play. Interesting. Moving on. Nebula Mech. Bellflower Dragon. Heavenly Blade Hera. And what is this? Uh, Wish Maker Willow. There we go. See, there's a two-star foil. I was about to say, I'm like, geez, all our foils have been three-star. I know. It's not always the case. Multicrag Slith, Dawn Dust Paladin, Star Smoke Dragon, Royal Patriarch, and Heavenly Host. There you go, there's another two. Kind of hoping we get a Shatterfolk foil, Calligraphy Ink Veil, Dragonite Partisan, another uh, Constellation Chaser, Star Bluff Summit. And cool, a dragon. Stellar elliptical dragon. I don't think any cards here will be for trade or sale. Like I said, I got these for my cousins and I to have something to play. So we're going to make decks out of these. And what's our foil? Royal Patriarch. There we go, see? There's a... I forgot if he's a common or not. That's foil, so... That's cool. Like I said, I don't mind. This looks like it's going to be a fun game. It's fast-paced, too, which is pretty nice. Star Bluff Summit, Star Spear Oak, Planet Side Remnant, Calligraphy Ink Veil, and Blossom Avail. If you have less life points than your opponent and don't have any creatures on your field, summon one uncommon creature from your graveyard with two energy on it. That's really awesome. So yeah, Uncommon has the two stars, Commons have one. And I think your rare or whatever, I forgot what it's called, has the three stars. Royal Patriarch, so Patriarch's an Uncommon. Thunder Coil Dragon. Nidlap Frozen Sphere. That's a cool looking card. Wouldn't mind, I would love to get a foil of that, doesn't look like it is our foil, but that's okay. Molten Crack Slife. And... Ethereal or, or uh, Aurelius to end off the box. So, I will just show my foils quickly. And we still have another box to go. There's that. And then our box toppers, which I know we get. So, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up the video, comment, subscribe. And stay tuned for another box opening. And yes, I will be probably getting two boxes each of future sets. We'll see how this goes. I'll definitely do videos of my cousins and I playing this. And I'll let you know how we like it and whatnot. And yeah.
So see you next time. Bye, YouTube. And I'll give you guys an update video as soon as I can. Bye for now.